I'm so nervous to talk because this video that we just showed, that they, he talked about photography, which I'm also going to talk about now. <laughs> so it may be a bit nervous, but I'll do my best. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yoshie Ushimaru. First, thank you for giving me opportunity to talk at TEDx HDU today. I am very honored to share my experiences with you as a former student of HDU. Well, since this program is organized, mainly organized by uh, HDU students, so my talk will be more like um, appropriate for um, young audience, I would say. And I hope my talk will encourage these young students um, anticipate their future optimistically and positively, especially after graduation. Um, let me introduce myself a little bit here. I am currently working at the U.S. Consulate General, Sephora. For those who don't know about my workplace, I'll briefly explain what it is. It's American Diplomatic Office, located in Sapporo, and it's a part of U.S. Department of State. If you don't know about what U.S. Department of State is or does, <laughs> I'll, um, it's, it's usually translated as America Kokumusho in Japanese. And the most probably best precise explanation is, it's equivalent of Ministry of Foreign Affairs, so-called Gaimusho in Japan. Um, in that nutshell, I work with American diplomats for U.S. government in order to promote deepened understanding of American culture among people in Japan, Northern Japan. And I am mainly responsible for reference and research, youth outreach, and promoting study in the, in the United States and with related tasks in my office. My talk today is not exactly about my work or job itself, nor I'm not going to talk about eyebrow niching, you know, complicated, you know, foreign policy here. <laughs> Rather, I'm going to talk about my passion and interest, which is photography. By the way, how many people here do enjoy photography? Could you raise your hand? Oh, maybe 10. Okay. I will start my talk by explaining how I became connected to photography through my workplace, which was completely beyond my expectation when I was started, when I started to work in that, my office. As I mentioned, due to the nature of my duty, which involved web-related work, such as social media, I started photography just about three or four years ago. Relatively, um, my position is more likely to be affected by development of technology and social trend. When I was hired several years earlier, I've never imagined that I would start photography as a part of my work. Undoubtedly, I have never get trained. I didn't study about photography at all. I had only used disposable camera by that time. I'm not even from artistic family, but did not major in the arts of photography back in college. After having spent about a year or so in my position, there was an internal photography training opportunity for um, the employee from, for, for East, for, from East Asia, which I, I was also encouraged to attend. It instantly dragged me into the world of photography. I loved it. I never expected it. Not only did I learn the very basic of understanding of the role of photography or for my work and for the mission of the office, 
I also understood how visual image should be conveyed to public. Interacting with talented colleagues from, from who work for public diplomacy using the visual images from the other countries also inspired me to improve my skills and understand the photography better. And I have never expected that the part of my professional duty could be also my personal interest. Many people are likely to pursue what they're really passionate about for their job. And some of us might struggle to find out the job with passion, not the vice versa. So it's probably less common that your responsibility becomes your personal interest. In addition, through photo well, photography has helped me learn about the different of perspective in society and cultures. It personally helped me develop and understand the various viewpoints and brought me into the new world. If you imagine someone who is looking through the viewfinder of a camera, you can picture how it's like. Things can be per perceived differently based on how you see in a crop the world. For example, in Sapporo, depending on whether you see the, uh, the Odori Park from the top of the TV tower or from the ground, you will see completely different views, right? Um, let me share a photo with you now here. I probably need to add something here, uh, how I ended up taking this picture. Like I was introduced a bit earlier, um, I went to New York and pursued um, to study photography about two weeks into summer, and it was part of my assignment there. And this is one of the photos that I, that I took in, in New York City. And I'm not asking you if this is great photo or not, or bad photo or not. You know, if you say this is great photo, I'll be happy, but uh, that's not the point. In fact, this photo was taken upside down. This is the original angle of this photo when I took it. You see a difference of perspective and how your thought could be um, fixed based on your assumption? This photo can show you the difference of viewpoint even though it was the same thing. The more I was into photography, the more I traveled to, to see the different views. Maybe I traveled to shoot more photos, like Susan Sander, American female essayist, stated in her um, essay called On Photography. Shooting photos often leads me to communicate with those who I don't know on the street, which I usually feel uncomfortable to do, but I do it anyway because I want to take their photos. And also, I was able to see, observe myself, how I see the sense of the world, which I did not really pay attention to in the past, Shooting photo made me engage in having an entire viral with myself. I also shoot this photo on Lower East Side in New York City this summer during assignment for a photography class at the same time with the first photo that I've just shown you. At first, I did not ask this woman where I can take a picture. Then I decided to, to, to cross the street and ask her if it's okay to take her photo. She stopped munching and struck a really cool pose for me. And honestly, I was really amazed how she presented herself with, with strong confidence and show to me like, hey, this is who I am. 
Well, the changes in experiences that I mentioned in the talk so far, it's an expected result and discovery is in good way for me. And importantly, they started up my work at my workplace. My experience of encountering photography is uh, just an example. A similar thing could happen to you. Any one of you in the years after you graduate from university. Your career will be much longer than you, you, have, ex you have spent at school. The workplace is a place you work, but at the same time, you can find your strengths, your weaknesses, your skills, and your interest. It could be anything, it could be any chances might open the door and lead you if you keep searching for it and asking yourself what it is. It's not something you should be worried about or scared of because you have never experienced it. Rather, something new can take you to the new world and remember it will always be on your imagination. Thank you.